everyone. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful winter day wherever you are or maybe summer or spring or autumn. Anyway, today I'm on my land and uh, this is the first time in maybe seven or eight years that I've actually pruned the lemon tree or the lemon lime section. Uh, it has been so long since I plant these, well not personally myself, but uh, I would say we, as in my parents, uh, that plant on the ground and when we first moved here it was more or less to act as a windbreak. So we just left it like that because it reduced a lot of the wind and on the other side we're just growing like all the other stuff like your Asian variety and it cannot tolerate wind. So it used to be like little babies like about maybe this branch and now it's very big so and I was just having a look at it the other day and there were a lot of dead branches so ideally with citrus um, they can handle heavy pruning so I was told um, and basically this line here I just came along and just clean up the bottom part because also this is Australia rural country so uh, the other thing to watch out for is snakes um, it, it get worse in the wind in the summertime because that's the actual snake season um, I don't have a particular approach to pruning I see dead tree uh, dead branches and branches that are crossing each other I watch a video actually um, but I apply those principle too and always have a sharp secateurs um, this one is on its way out by the way it was sharp and I think I kind of after some heavy pruning with the custard apple and now this and sugarcane um, it definitely need to be you know sharpened and um, tune up pretty much so with this um, I don't remember what type of lemon this is anymore it's either a Myers a Eureka um, I do know I have the Tahitian lime and I have the Ooh, what's the other line? Can't remember. Those bumpy ones that you know Thai people use their leaves to uh, make food. Finger lime, not finger lime. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Oh well. Anyway, we'll find out someday. Um, so I just wanted the bottom part to be bare for snake purposes to watch out for snake danger. Uh, that's the only thing that's dangerous up here, snakes. And um, removing some of the dead branches and opening this up to allow lights. Now, I'm only doing over this side because on the other side, um, these are just, I'm just gonna leave it bushy because the wind, like it's a lot better now, believe it or not. But before my neighbor was over there and uh, growing avocado he it was bare land and so there was none of that uh, native Australian tree there that you can see on the fence line that really helped um, so I'm just waiting for this section over here so this is the uh, the big red uh, lily pilly um, which we just put in like maybe a year now and um, yeah, we're just growing a roll of this to act as a windbreak. It's going to be beautiful when, by the time we get to that height. So you can see all those native trees there that um, our neighbor planted for his cust uh, custard apple, avocado. I love custard apple, that's why I keep on thinking about it. Um, <laughs> so, if you can imagine when it was just clear land, the wind from that direction is crazy. Um, actually wind from any direction up here is crazy and uh, you know the, a lot of the cost is putting in windbreak it's either you put in windbreak as a tree um, to reduce the wind or you put in like a windbreak shade cock that will help as well but I think for a long term it's ideal to grow tree and so these lemon tree here I might prune it a little bit just to help you know maintain the health but um i'll just 
leave it to be a little bit more bushy because like I said even though it's a lot better now but I still would like more protection and by the time those lily pilly gets to about that height over there I will prune this down more heavily too because citrus they need to be pruned um, and I just have so much lemon so so much lemon um, sometimes I uh, I don't know what to do with it I do give them away by the way <laughs> when when I go to work I bring it to work it's really heavy carrying it and uh, sometimes I'm lazy too really a lazy bugger um, right, here. so I'm gonna show you uh, this tree here it looks very sad because I pruned it a lot but if you saw it earlier it looked even sadder because it was just like dead branches and all these um, other branches that were you know hanging everywhere I mean I could prune it some more but I just feel sorry for the tree when I prune too much so I don't want to prune more than 50% um, maybe like if I prune it this year and there's new foliage or new branches coming out then next year I will prune the other branches like this one here or maybe this one like the following year when it has a chance to recuperate otherwise you're putting the tree through a lot of stress and um, I don't want that and by the way it doesn't receive any fertilizer um, Any fertilizer it has is uh, seaweed, like liquid seaweed fertilizer. Uh, like this one here. I mean, I could do a better job, but uh, that will do for today. And we'll move along here. Some more pruning. And you see, there's lots of lemon over that side. <laughs> and here. So, I mean, when I walk back and I look at some of these branches, I, I would still like to prune them, but I just, like I said, too much. Like, it's already, I've done a lot uh, of pruning, um, and I just don't, I'll, I'll do it the following year when the new one come out. And so from that point onward, these are lined. Um, this one is these are Tahitian lime so you can see why like they are um, see, I'm lost for words what are these? <laughs> sweet potatoes look at the sweet potatoes and yes if you were a snake living in this patch it would be ideal so the other thing that will be in here will be the blue tongue sometimes they come out you know sometimes we see them roaming around here um, but this is the best season really for sweet potato shoot like if you harvest it and you eat it after you know with a bit of rain it's nice and uh, crunchy and not so chewy and they're looking absolutely gorgeous ready to eat and then we come to here I chop so many limes yeah Right, so I will clean these out at some point. There's some lines on there, but that's okay. This tree was looking rather miserable as well. Um, but I have to prune it because there are this big tree is just overshadowing this. We were intending to cut that tree down or trim it, but I think it's just, just too much work. And sometimes you just need a tree because, you know, it's probably older than me. You know, cutting down a tree uh, makes me feel sad sometimes. And then I forget about it after a couple of years. <laughs> so I started with this one, that um, this is the line. And then we were starting to clear out the sugar cane. So let's walk over here.
the last time I was doing a sugar cane, you know, video, and I was saying like it looks really creepy, like from that direction. But now you can see it a lot clearer because we harvested heaps of sugar cane. on last time I couldn't see it to be honest like I couldn't see very clear to the other side but now like it's a lot clearer um, I still need to have time to clean up some more dead sugar cane um, so there will be more cleaning done here but it's looking a lot better this is a tipawana <laughs> the way my parent pruned it is like a one stem thing you know, I wanted like a big canopy, but it didn't happen. Anyway, these are great. Love to Um, you come this way. Look, there's also more lime over there. It's ready to eat. some orange uh, the orange tree here and over there because these one aren't doing very well and I, I reckon um, maybe a bit of pruning this year will help stimulate more growth whereas you believe you believe it or not <laughs> this orange tree and that orange tree there are the same time as those one there and over there in that direction um, it's just like the growth has been suppressed it because of the tipawana and the maybe the mulberry like just that whole area and it's very shading so it's not doing very well but yeah let's go down here to do some real pruning see me in action otherwise you might think that i hire somebody to do it you wear gloves yeah see what happened when the tools unsharp it doesn't give you a clean cut so I love Vietnamese um, you know the line where they they salted lime I don't know if anyone ever tasted it so basically, I think the way they make it, they harvest like uh, the limes that are ready to eat, pour some hot water and some salt into it and let it ferment. And after, I don't know, for however period of time, they take it out and during the summertime, they get those fermented lime, put it in with some ice. Oh, it tastes absolutely amazing. It's very refreshing. Um, but the ones that you buy from the shop that are already made, it's a bit chewy, it doesn't taste nice. Um, so I aim to do that with my lime someday. Uh, so let's move along here. So I'm getting to the end, pretty much this is the end of the line. This is the border between my neighbor and me. And that Pilly Pilly is a great windbreak. So this one, I might prune it a little bit, but not too much. So I look at this, look, it's watering. And I see this branch, I might not need it. Definitely not gonna need it. Come on in and cut it out. Some of these ones, if it, 
much brightness, it will cause them to not grow properly and it will promote like disease. Also, this is pretty much at the end of the line for this uh, secretary pruner. Um, so I look at this and I thought, okay, this branch is going to go up there. Might as well get rid of it. Wear gloves, <laughs> important because these have prickly things. And also, if you're not a very mindful pruner, wear goggles and helmet that is if you are very reckless okay um, because these trees you don't want to have trauma to your face or to your eye because your eyes are very important without it you can't function in this world efficiently so I look at this one and it's growing upwards and it's going to be in the way of other branches so I take it out same thing with this one over here The other thing is you can get a hand saw, it's probably better. Uh, like I said today and a few other days, I did have a hand saw but I don't have it at the moment. It's uh, not working properly. Do you know, um, I don't think there's, there, there's certainly a wrong way of pruning, but it's your tree. You can prune it however way you want. Um, and you know, it's just like hair. If you cut your hair and it's wrong, it will always regrow. As long as you don't kill the trunk, then that should be fine. Anyway, that's it from me with pruning. I hope you have a pruning day. <laughs> Bye.